At times in this pandemic, we're tempted to give up. We're tempted to think that the candles of Advent have gone out. Mother Teresa, with her great work with the poor, lit a candle in Calcutta that became a fire. Pretty soon, young reporters were trailing Mother Teresa. They were amazed at her care of people they would overlook. And they would ask her why she loved the poor so much, how she could honor the poor with dignity in such difficult situations. In response, she liked to grasp their hand and slowly wiggle one finger at a time and explain, this is how you did it for me. In her mind, she could count the whole gospel on just five fingers. She wasn't doing something for people, she was doing it for someone. The poor and humble Jesus. Jesus who said, whatever you do to the least of my brothers or sisters, you do it for me. In my neighborhood, there are really no generic homeless people. They are ordinary men and women who get caught in a cycle of addiction or psychological trauma or unemployment. And they have street names like cowboy or slim, but also real names when we talk one-on-one. -on -one. They make their way each morning to the St. Anthony Center where St. Francis Seraph Ministries provides a decent meal and possible connections out of homelessness. The Kitchen is one of our sponsored ministries where many volunteers and Brother David and Sister Anne serve with care those who have no home or have little food in their pantry. Franciscans actually know the names of the people we serve. Franciscan friars educate young people at Roger Bacon High School or St. Francis Seraph School, some of whom cannot afford the tuition, but with generous donations have become outstanding citizens in our city. Friars Club in Cincinnati is a sports club for kids in the inner city who can't afford to join a basketball team or any other team. So they learn sportsmanlike behavior with values that guide them for life there. In Jamaica, Father Jim and Father Colin run bus services to keep kids in school in a country where walking for miles is the only way to get to learning. In Jamaica, Father Colin also established a medical clinic for proper medical attention out in the bush area. He's helped families obtain necessary chickens and pigs that allow them to feed their families and have some left over to sell at market. Father Jim established the only soup kitchen in the city of Negril, feeding children and men and women without means a decent, healthy lunch. Whatever you do for the least, you do it for me. There are times when we're all in need of spiritual help. A gift to the Franciscan friars provides for many people to receive spiritual nourishment through Franciscan media and our award-winning magazine, The St. Anthony Messenger. Hundreds of high schoolers and adult seekers arrive at St. Francis Retreat Center in Easton, Pennsylvania, looking for a deeper spiritual connection. With this pandemic, they've had to learn how to do most of their ministry online, and they're still reaching hundreds of folks. These people walk away with the light of hope rekindled. Let's face it, at times we all need the care of God, who's looking for us more than we ever look for Him. God is the ultimate Good Shepherd. We've all been the lost lamb of the shepherd. And because we've been so cared for, forgiven, healed, we want to give some of that away. Whatever you do for the least, you do it for me. So now, it's our turn to give back. We've all heard the saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. 
Won't you help us in this holy season? Help Cowboy and Slim at St. Francis Seraph Ministries get a meal. Help an inner city child get to school and leave with an education. Help Father Colin bring the chickens, pigs, to families in the countryside of Jamaica. Bus cards for kids from Father Jim to keep them learning and to keep the good news of Jesus arriving through St. Anthony Messenger or this online experience. Yes, your generous help can light a candle for many people. Your giving can be a gift to the poor Jesus lying in his crib or the poor person lying in a downtown doorway. This Advent, let's greet Christ the Lord with candles of hope and help. Won't you meet Christ in his distressing disguises? Just remember, whatever you did for the least, you did it for me. Thanks for helping us.